whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, believe it or not, our lives don't revolve around your every move. Not that you can get past your own selfishness to realize Holden that. Holden is selfish? Stay out of this. Are you Carly, mad? You don't have to. No, no, no. You tried being dead for 12 years. <laughs> now he's awake, and everyone's telling him what he should and shouldn't do so long as it's to their benefit? Give me a break. All he wants is to feel like he belongs. Sorry, who are you again? Someone who didn't keep Holden against his will. What's that supposed to mean? Ask Grandpa. What do you know about my grandfather? She doesn't mean anything, okay? She's just repeating what I told her. You told her about Arthur? You never should have said anything, especially not to her. She hasn't done anything wrong. Why are you defending her? The other night, when we were together, it wasn't your first time, was it? No, you could have just told me. That would have been the normal thing to do. She was worried you were cutting her out of her life. Now I see why. I wanted to let it slide. I wanted to let it slide. But do you see, do you see how pathological they are? We're not human beings to them. We're, we're test subjects. You were in the realm with Arthur. Why didn't you tell me? Because I can barely talk about that used band-aid of a man without admitting that I want to see him rot. You bought a gun to kill Arthur. That's why you're here. I had it pointed at a skull, too. But in the moment of truth, I told myself, I'm a better person than them, but they don't deserve a better person. Wait, Charlie. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe now. Just do it. You know you want to.